and are you refreshed yes. good now what you've been talking to one another haven't you wait 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 further back come wait 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 uh, we need a very long stick This is very exciting. <laughs> Thank you for choosing me. I have lots of questions. Um, we have one answer. Yes. <laughs> go to the vortex next, 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 go to the vortex next. <laughs> So you should all demand your money back. Really, you should. <laughs> so, um, I had an experience when I was young of kicking the bucket or dying or croaking, as you call it. And um, so, I experienced something that I've never really been able to put into context until I started listening to you. Um, I experienced that pure positive energy. A state of no resistance. Yes. So I know that it exists. And... And you don't have to go that far to find it. Yeah. <laughs> Which is exactly my question. Uh, well, it kind of leads into it is that ever since that experience, I was very young, 17. And since that experience, I've been looking for a way to find that feeling while here in my body. And well, you may be the catalyst to the hard driving conversation that we had right before segment of refreshment. Yes. Because we could feel an intensity to understand this like nothing that we have felt before in a gathering. And the reason that we so want you to accept the reality of this vortex is because that's the way you're supposed to feel. In other words, humans are accustomed to thinking about being on heaven or on earth non-physical or physical dead or alive and even when someone like you who in the midst of strong resistance actually released resistance completely enough to feel the sweetness of a non-resistant state even though you had that very real experience that no one could ever talk you out of in other words you it was so vivid and so real you are never have never been and will never be able to deny the reality of it mm -hmm. what it did it set you on a quest for for more like that but at the same time you felt fearful of finding it because you associated it with death yes you associated it with with the releasing of the physical and so this message that we're giving you here today we're not asking you to release physical and come to non-physical although that is always an option we are asking you to understand who you really are and to just work just a little bit more consistently at finding the vibration of that mm -hmm. and our words help you because you begin to understand what a state of non-resistance feels like mm -hmm. we want you to to understand the existence of the vortex and to reach for it and at the same time never be unhappy when you're not there we were talking about this vortex and wanting you to move toward it but we also want to say to you that we're we're not asking or even implying that it's possible for you to be in your physical form and always in the vortex that's not the plan in your physical experience the plan was to to carve out expansion but there's something really off if humans think that what we're saying is here this will this will be really good it will tie so perfectly into what you're reaching for 
we can feel that you all are understanding this vibrational being that we know that you are and we are convincing you that you are you're coming to recognize that and and yet here you are rooted in a physical experience which is necessary for all of this expansion it all fits together in this big picture in such a remarkable way when when you spend time thinking about this vortex planning envisioning lining up with it and then when you are able to maintain the frequency of your vortex more consistently than you maintain the frequency of being out of the vortex where you're just leaning more to the positive feeling better more of the time what begins to happen is the manifestations begin to catch up and that's what a feeling of contentment is in other words when when you have created it through life and now you're allowing it to manifest contentment is a very real feeling but you experienced contentment in the most extreme sense of the word in that death experience with no manifestation in other words it was just absence of resistance so if we can convince you that the contentment you seek is about a vibrational thing not about a manifestational thing then you've got it and and then the manifestational things have to follow in other words we're not trying to teach you to not be physical and we're not trying to talk you out of your manifestations we're just showing you the fast way to all of the manifestations that you want and the only way to the joy that you want so so here's a test for all of you what do you want more joy or manifestations joy. good answer <laughs> really good answer now let's take it further what what do you want more joy or manifestations joy do you have to make that choice no you get you get to have it all but if you put manifestations ahead of joy then the absence of the manifestation keeps you from the joy which keeps you from the alignment that doesn't allow the joy or the manifestation so here's the better question what do you want first joy yes very much so yeah. And that's what I feel like my gift, your gift to me has been, is that I get that now. And so... So now you don't need to fear going to the vortex. In other words, you... Were, you, you Right. And for a long time I did. It's a very common thing. People have this yeah. experience and they actually feel resentful of the paramedics that resuscitated them. Hmm. It was so good there and you brought me back here <laughs> very common hmm. I felt a bliss I've never known and you brought me back into high school <laughs> <laughs> what could you have been thinking well that's an interesting point because I was in high school but and it was a difficult time but I also had a choice I felt as though I had a choice well you always have a choice but the the, the here here's the thing about that choice that we talk about these two vibrational relationships and and because of what you experienced as a death experience of course it was not really but near enough as you released all of that resistance and became one with who you really are in that coming together where there was no resistance then the clear choice of who you are and what you are about dominated mm. you see and this is the thing that we're really getting at all the time as we're talking about this alignment is that it is so blissful to be in the absence of resistance It's just such a nice place to be yes. and 
something about being human and physical makes you think that you have to struggle you teach it to each other you say there's no gain without pain that's not true there's all kinds of gain without pain in fact no one ever really experiences the manifestation of their gain in the presence of pain hmm. you, you can't have it both ways hmm. so so now where are you well I am in a very good place and we I, mean we, we we can feel that but we mean in terms of this conversation so oh. where is it now come to for you you get it that there is no death mm -hmm. you get it that you can be physically physical and without resistance and you see this is another really interesting thing that most humans don't get they think it's either dead or alive they don't realize right. that it's non-physical and physical and that when the two are really in alignment that's when true life is being lived right Yes. 